guys, Chelsea here again, and this is Gus. Today I'm going to be taking you through a 30 minute back, core and arms workout. I'll be using some one kilo little dumbbells, but you can fill up some uh, one liter water bottles or some can of veggies, whatever you've got at home. All right, let's get started. And just bringing your feet shoulder distance apart and starting to draw your shoulders up towards your ears little circles with the shoulders, waking up through the upper body. Inhale, shoulders come to ears, exhale, rolling down for two. And one, let's go the other way. Inhale, shoulders come to the ears and rolling down, two. And one, tucking the chin to the chest now and just reaching left arm down the thigh, stretching down that right side of the body. Just a gentle stretch to start. Inhale, come back to centre, and then drop the hand down the right thigh, stretching out that left side body. Excellent. And then coming back to centre. All right, let's get started. Bending through your knees and tilt forward at your hips a little, and just start to draw your elbows up towards the ceiling. So draw belly button to spine, engage through the core, and just tilting forward a little bit at the hips, driving the elbows up towards the ceiling. A little upright row for one. Breathe out as you draw your elbows to the ceiling. Three, four, five, six, seven, bend through the knee, eight, nine, ten, ten more, keep going, nine, eight, seven, six, sit a little low with your hips, five more, four, three, two, and one. Stay elbows up nice and high now and extend the arm back. So you want to bend and extend for one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going, you've got it. Seven. Start to warm up. Eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five more. Four, three, two, and one. Standing up, just shake out through your hips, release through the lower back, and we'll keep going. So this time, palms facing forward, feet are together, and we just take the hands towards the ceiling. So palms are facing forward, little sweep back with the arms, still working through the triceps. For one, two, three, keep breathing. Four, five, Six, seven, take it straight back, that's it. Eight, nine, bend a little further forward with your hips. Ten, ten more, sweep the arms back. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your arms back there if you can, and then just taking your hands to touch. So you're gonna come out and in. All right, for one, <laughs> warming up, nice job. Two, three, four, five, just try and touch your hands together. Six, whew, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, keep going. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, burning. Three, two, and one. Just standing up, roll the shoulders down and back. Big breath in. And exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, drawing them down. One more, just like that. Nearly there, one more little thing to go. So bend forward at your hips, take the arms back, and then start to do your little circles. Similar to what we do with the legs on the mat. Just try and circle your hands, little tiny circles. One, two, three, four, five. Keep squeezing the core on six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more, and then we drop the weights. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew, burning. All right, taking the weights down towards the side, just get rid of them for the moment, and come into the bottom of your mat, and just start to bring big toes touching and rolling down, vertebrae, by a vertebra, rolling down to the mat, letting the hands go down, and just looking towards your knees, big forward fold, and 
and then slowly from here we're going to separate the feet. Shoulder distance apart, squeeze your belly to backbone and then just start to bend and extend through the legs. Starting to get a little bit of heat in the body so we come up and down, sit as low as you can, no pain in your knees though so just modify if you need. Let the head go heavy, no tension in the neck and bending. Nice job. Let's go 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We double pulse at the bottom and then stand up. So you want to go down, down, and up. Down, down, and up. Excellent. Keep going. Pulse, pulse, extend. Head nice and heavy. Ten more, let's keep going. Nine. Eight. Seven, giving those arms a rest. Six, legs start to heat up. Five more. Four. Three, keep squeezing your core. Two. And one, stay low, just little pulses at the bottom for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and extending those legs fully, taking a forward fold. Big breath in, and a long breath out, out through the mouth. Nice. We're going to try and lift the heels now to activate more through the calves. So if you can, either staying with what we had or just lift your heels a little bit and try and bend and extend through the legs. Keep the fingertips on the mat. Keep the head nice and heavy. No tension in the neck. Just bending and extending. Noticing the calves start to activate with the heels lifted. Five more. Legs are starting to burn. Four. Three. Two. And one, pulse, pulse at the bottom and then stand up. We're just going to do six, pulse, pulse and stand. Five, four, keep going, three, two, woo, one. And just stay low now for six little pulses at the bottom. Six, five, heels lifted, four, three, two, shaking and one. Drop the heels down, feet nice and wide. Just take your forward fold again. Grab a hold of opposite elbow and just take a little rag doll side to side. Head nice and heavy. Excellent job. And then slowly we're just going to walk ourselves out, finding a high plank. Holding here. Squeeze your belly to backbone. Nice and long and strong through the core. Shoulders over the wrists. And one long line, no dipping or lifting through the hips. Just holding here. If you need to come down into your forearms, if you have any wrist pain, just alternate that. And hold here. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If you can, stay here. Take one foot out to the side and back in for 1. Alternate sides, take a foot outside the mat and then back in. Two, keep breathing. Three, four, five, almost there. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, lower the knees to the mat and just push back, find your child's pose. Two deep breaths. Excellent job. Big breath in, all the way out. Softening the body, one more. And out. Coming up into our four point kneeling now. And just starting to lift our left leg up. So finding a little donkey position. So you want to have your knee um, and ankle in line with each other. And also your knee in line with your hip. And from here, we lower the knee to the mat and then lift back up. Flex through your foot, so you want to come down and up. Excellent. We've got 10. Keep going. So really extending through that leg, activating through the glute. Perfect. Try to lift up and out of your wrist so you're not dumping through your shoulders. 
and squeeze the belly to your backbone. Excellent. Almost there. Two and one. From here, we pulse at the top. So just little lift and lower at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay lifted with that leg and then extend the leg out and then bend. So you want to keep the knee nice and high, bending and extending. So working through the hamstring, you bring the heel towards your bottom and then let lengthen it back out. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower that leg down, starting to burn through that glute. Shake it out side to side, little break here. And then we're going to continue on with that side, just a couple more things to go. So extend the leg back out nice and long. And we start to take diagonal little lifts. So you want to take the foot over to the edge of the mat, then lift it up and take it to the opposite side. Little rainbows for one. Take the leg nice and high. Try not to arch through the lower back. Two, three, four, five, belly to backbone, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it back to center and just finishing with little circles. Five in one direction, four, three, two, and one. Circle the other way, five, four, three, two and one. Roll that leg down and then we're just going to come down lying on our right side. So we're going to continue all of our left side first and then come back to the opposite way. So come on to lying on your left, uh, right, so your left leg up and finding your clamp position. So knee out in line with your hip and try to bring your ankles in line with your knee as well and just start to open and close through that top leg. So we're going to take it up nice and high and then lower back down for one, two, you can support your head with your hand if you like, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we'll do ten more, ten, nine, keep going, slow and controlled, eight, keep drawing the belly in as well, and lifting up and out of your waist. Six more. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the, ooh, it's gonna burn. Lift the ankles up off the ground now, and then open and close through the knee. That's it, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, keep going, nine, eight, seven, six, burning, five, four, three, two, and one, lowering it down, just break there for a moment, and coming back to at the top of our plan with the feet on the ground, just taking the leg a little dip and lift at the top, so not coming all the way down, just pulsing there for one, two, three, four, five. So little ones at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We've got our little pulses with the heels lifted and then we're done on this side. Promise. One, two, Three, four, little tiny lift and lower with the knee, not much at all. Keep going. Halfway. Seven, keep squeezing, activating through that glute. Five, four, three, two, one, lowering it down. 
Whew. All right, lowering onto your belly, and then just push yourself back, finding your tabletop position. Let's tuck our chin to the chest and rounding forward, finding cat cow position. Inhale, reaching up, looking up to the ceiling. Release through the lower back and exhale, chin to chest. One more round. Inhale, looking up. And then exhale, chin back to the chest. Okay, let's do right side now. So starting off with our donkey kicks, lifting that heel up as if you're pressing the foot into the ceiling. Then take the knee back down. So you want to take it up. Our knee and ankle are in line with each other, and we just bring the knee up to the glute, so we're not hyperextending through the lower back. Let's take it down and straight up. That's it for one. In through the nose, out through the mouth, breathing out as we lift the leg. Lift up and out of the wrist, so we're not dumping into the shoulders or the neck. And just take your gaze towards the top of your mat. So you want nice and long through the neck, no strain. Halfway. Ooh, feel that opposite leg. Nice job. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift that leg up now. Staying at the top and just pulsing here. Pulsing the foot towards the ceiling. Lifting and lowering, just dip and lift at the top. You've got it, looking good. Stay with it. Keep going, little lift, little lower. Halfway. Excellent, squeeze that belly in. Five, four, three, two, and one. We bend and then extend. Ooh, keep that knee nice and high. Take a break if you need, we keep going though. For one, two, three, four, five, almost there, and then we'll have a little break. Six, seven, eight, keep lifting up and out of that opposite leg. Try not to sink through your pelvis halfway. Ten more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep going, four, three, two and one wow roll that knee to the mat and just push yourself back find a child's pose two deep breaths until we move on take a moment of rest just to recenter with your breath big breath in and all the way out through the mouth exhaling releasing big breath in through the nose and then just exhale out over the mouth, softening. Feel that heat in the glutes. Energy burning. All right, let's finish off this side in our tabletop position. I haven't forgotten, we've still got those other ones left. <laughs> take that right leg back now, point through the toes. We take the foot over to the side and then lift, take it to the opposite side. Little rainbows, take it over. And up for one, we're just going to do ten. Two, three, four, five, six, keep going, seven, eight, two more. Last one, stay lifted with that leg, point through the toe, finishing off with your little circles. One, two, three, four, squeeze the belly, five, swap the direction, five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering it down, and let's come onto our side lying position, and right leg will be facing up this time. So lying down onto your left, supporting your head in your hand if you wish, or you can take your head all the way down onto your bicep, finding what works and what's comfy for you, and then just stacking your hips, finding your clam position and just opening and closing through that top leg. Lifting and lowering, excellent. Feels okay to start with, nice and slow. Slow it down a little bit, that's it. Lifting up and out of your waist, 
and draw, keep drawing the belly in, squeeze through your pelvic floor even, lift up through those muscles. Halfway. I think that bottom leg's hurting more. <laughs> nice job. Three, two, one. Lift the heels now if you can, or stay where you are, and then just opening and closing. Excellent. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More, keep going. Ten. Nine, eight, lift the heels a little higher. Seven, six, five, four, full range. Three, two, and one. Lower the heels back down. And just coming back, feet on the mat in our clam position. Open that top leg up and then just little pulses at the top. For one, draw those knees up towards your chest. So knees are in line with your hip and ankles in line with your knee. Little pulses at the top. Keep going. Halfway, 10 to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Challenge yourself if you can. Draw your heels up off the mat. And we've just got our pulses to finish with heels lifted. So 1, 2, 3, belly in. 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lowering it down. Excellent job. Rolling over onto the back now. Let's just draw both knees into the chest and give yourself a big squeeze. Excellent. We survived the leg work. <laughs> Circling the knees side to side now, just massage through that lower back. Gentle little mobilization. And then swap the circles of the knees, go the opposite way. Two and one. Stretching out through the glutes, just take your right heel onto your left knee and then just draw that knee into the chest. Figure four stretch, starting with the right side. Just three deep breaths here. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Swapping sides now. Wow, so stiff. Right foot down, left foot onto your right knee now, and just draw that leg into the chest. Nice. Three deep breaths here again. In through the nose, fill up the lungs completely. And then exhale out through the mouth. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Alrighty, time to work the core. So let's take our feet down onto the mat and having the feet in reaching distance with your hands. And just starting off here with our pelvic tilts. So bring your hands towards your waist, finding that natural curvature of your lower back. Neutral neutral spine and then inhaling here and exhale lowering that lower back into the mat imprinted spine squeezing belly to backbone inhale coming back to neutral and then exhale flattening the lower back into the mat as you start to flatten the back imagine drawing up through pelvic floor as well excellent inhale coming back to neutral spine Two more like this. Exhale. Imprinted spine. And then inhale, coming back, find neutral spine. Perfect. Take the hands behind the head now and just cupping your head with your hands. Make a little cushion there. Elbows stay nice and wide. Imprint your spine. 
So inhale, imprint the spine and exhale. Just curl your head, neck and shoulders up if you can. And then lowering back down. Find a neutral spine, imprint the spine and curl up. And then lower back down, find neutral spine. So just working with imprinting the spine and then curling head, neck and shoulders up. Lower back down, excellent. Lifting up, as you lift up, you imprint the spine. As you lower back down, you find that natural curvature. Excellent. Let's do 10, nine. Keep the elbows nice and wide. So it's coming from a chest lift, not just a neck crunch. <laughs> Keep going. Nearly there. Five more. We'll lift a little bit higher, squeeze through those abdominals. Four. Three. Two. And one, lowering back down onto the mat, drawing your legs now up into tabletop position. Same with our ab curl, but legs into tabletop. Our lower back is imprinted into the mat, and then just curling up. Try to keep those knees in line with the hips. As you start to bring the knees over the hips, you'll disengage your abs. So just keep them where they are, and lower up. Keep the ankles up in line with the knees if you can. Excellent. Four, one. Breathe out as you lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine. Little lift. A little higher. Keep going. Seven, six. Elbows wide, five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering down, just draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze, breathing in, and all the way out. Bring our legs back into tabletop position, <clears throat> and take your arms up towards the ceiling, finding like a dead bug position, as they call it. Imagining that. <laughs> and <laughs> now you're going to take one leg long and the other one out. So you want a natural little curvature in your back, not overarching or squishing all the way in. So you just want to take coordination here. Let's start left leg extends out and right arm overhead, then draw back in. You'll notice as you start to attempt to bring the knee and the arm back, you really need to squeeze through your core. So that's all we're aiming for. You lengthen the leg, just go as far as you can, no pain, and then breathe out, draw the hand back in. Keep opposite sides going, alternate each time. And just feel that lengthening through the core and the effort to squeeze back in. Nice, keep going. One, two, Three, four, five. If you've got clicking in your hips, that's okay. Just as long as it's not painful. It can just be the hip flexor clicking over the front of the pelvis there. If it's painful, just stop. Have a breath. Last two. Last one. Draw the knees back into the chest. <clears throat> and finding your tabletop position, working through the obliques now, knees still over the hips, and then just take your hands over to the left side of your knee, and then grab like a pistol, and you're going to go forward and back, so pistol grip with the hands, and you're just lifting and lowering a little bit, so your hands are to the left, and it should be working through that right side of your body there, right obliques for one, we're just going to do ten, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down, other side. This will grip the hands, take them to the right, and then just lifting and lowering for one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down to the mat, draw the knees into the chest, almost there. Coming now, extend your left leg long, right knee into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze, keep hovering that left foot off the ground. And then we start to curl our head and neck up, and we're going to swap from side to side. That's it for one, two, three, lift your chest up, four, five, feel that belly on, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lowering the head back down, just give your neck and shoulders a rest, and just take that left leg down to the mat as well, or whatever legs out long. Rest it down and then taking both arms up overhead and both legs nice and long. Big breath in, fill up the lungs completely and then exhale, just softening the body, almost there. Taking left leg up towards the ceiling now and try and tap your foot with your right hand. So kind of like a dead bug, but we've gone long. <laughs> so you take your arm up and down. So we're no longer in that tabletop, we're squished down. So we take the right hand up to the foot and lower back down. That's it. For one, we're just doing ten. Two, try and lift your shoulder, neck, all the way up. So you don't want to just be reaching and extending with your arm. Try and gauge those upper abdominals. Halfway. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Lowering all the way back down. Big breath in, and all the way up. Taking your feet back now, bending through the knees, and just sweep your arms down by the side, and finishing off with our ankle taps. So start to curl your head, neck, and shoulders up, and then just Rotating from side to side for one, that's it, keep going. Two, three, ankle little taps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, nearly there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lowering down. Nice job. Take the right knee into the chest now. Let's finish with a little stretch. Right knee in, and then just take that knee over towards the left. Big twist through the lower back, middle back, up back, and just looking over the right shoulder. Excellent. Big breath in. With every exhale, just try and twist a little bit more. Soften through those muscles. Feel that belly with a bit of heat there. Big breath in and all the way out. Nice job. Slowly rolling back over onto your back, tucking that knee in and let's swap sides. Left knee comes into the chest now. Hug it in and then just take that left leg over to the right. Release through that lower back. You might get a little click. And then looking over the shoulder if you can to lengthen that twist. Breathing. Last one. Come back over onto your back. Hug both knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Circle the knees, release through that lower back, and then just start to rock and roll, finding your way back into a seated position, rolling all the way up, and then just finishing in a cross seated position. Just stretch out through your neck, chin to the chest, roll around. Nice way to start the day. Hopefully, you're feeling a little bit warmer, a little bit more stretched, and a little bit more worked out. Excellent job. Thank you so much, guys.